So I am backstage here in Berlin. I got a room to myself this time. We're at one of those venues that has a lot of different green rooms. So I've got an individual one. Just took a shower in there. More information than you needed to know, but do a little repacking, unpacking, re uh, packing and assessment over here. I've been trying some a different neck, but tonight I'm gonna go back to the Mark VI neck. And I'm uh, about to go through my daily vitamin dosage pretty intense but necessary. And I'm also working on I've this like manuscript paper book and I'm finally working on the saxophone power hour book, putting in some power hours on the saxophone power hour, starting with that chromatic exercise I mentioned in a recent interview with Jay Metcalf because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And you know, I sat down and I'm like, you know, it's just a chromatic scale exercise and yet no, it's not just a chromatic scale exercise scale exercise. I've got about 10 pages or so of thoughts on the approach to the exercise and how, um, how I think about it from a timing perspective, a rhythm perspective and articulation or lack thereof, alternate fingerings, um, what else? Things of that nature, but it's kind of cool. I finally, because I don't have a laptop, you know, on the road and everything, I'm, I'm going fully analog and it's it's so nice to be writing music with a pencil on paper again. I realized my my handwriting, my manuscript, has really suffered because it or atrophied. I just don't do it anymore. And the act of putting dots on a page with a pencil is uh, is not only helpful, but sort of meditative. So I'm just enjoying the process of writing out all these notes one by one. All right, so I showed you my, my green room, my dressing room. This is the one that Chris Bullock found. Way to go, Chris, look at this. It's got a living room in here. Beverages, fine art, chips. The patio that I can't get to. Flute stand. Fluffy carpet. Not bad, nice job. <laughs> Thank you.